The dynamics of uh, closed head injury, which is what we're talking about today, um, uh, is that the brain is uh, either subjected to a direct insult, which is called a blunt injury, um, or is um, a, uh, a shaking um, or ex what we refer to as an acceleration deceleration injury. Um, most of the injuries you see in, in sports and that sort of thing are the acceleration variety. And what happens there is the brain is shaken. If it's shaken violently, it can hit areas of the skull and uh, create swelling and uh, bleeding in the brain. But the kind of injuries we're discussing are mild head injuries or concussions. And they usually just involve that uh, shaking of the brain where there is a uh, bioelectrical discharge of energy um, and there's a physiological process. It involves uh, the uh, use of glucose in the brain and uh, things happening actually at the cellular level of the brain. When a, when a brain cell is shaken, um, it discharges its uh, sodium and potassium and that is replaced by calcium, which is actually very good for your bones but not very good for your brain. Um, and it, it can cause death of the brain cell, which is referred to as apoptosis. So your uh, brain, when it's injured, those cells try to get back to normal. And uh, they uh, try to bring the, the sodium and potassium back into the cell and expel the, the uh, calcium. Um, that uh, uh, requires uh, energy which is uh, essentially in the form of glucose. And you have glucose in the brain and it uses that glucose to make this change. Um, unfortunately, you begin to run out of glucose and after a mild head injury, your brain is slightly swollen and doesn't allow as much blood to get into the brain and bring you that energy source. Um, so all of a sudden it, it uh, stops uh, 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 working toward repairing those cells and uh, so you, you, you slow down in that process. And that can take um, anywhere from uh, a, a few hours uh, to uh, five or 10 days to get back to normal uh, physiological function in, at those brain cell levels. So also as part of this injury, there are, are uh, various dynamics going on with this shaking injury that we talked about or the acceleration deceleration injury. And that can involve a, either a linear injury or rotational injury. The linear injury is, is one that's uh, best described as sort of a piston action. And that would be if, uh, let's say we're talking about boxing, if you were hit directly in the nose uh, with a, a punch, um, that would move the head uh, back in one plane and the brain would go from front to back and, and might in fact bounce off of the skull. A rotational injury is one where the brain turns inside of the skull. So you can imagine with uh, an acceleration deceleration injury like being uh, 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 hit by uh, a boxer and, and being hit on the jaw, the head turning, eventually the head stops but the brain keeps turning inside of the skull so you get this rotational type injury. That can happen front to back as well when the, when the head moves in this direction. So automobile accident, for example, where you move forward and stop, the brain is rotating inside of the skull.